In this video, I'm going to discuss some MCQs on proteins. If you have not watched the part one, the part zero actually of this series where I introduced what I'm going to do in this series, I highly recommend you to please go and watch that video. I will link that video down in the description. If you have watched that video already, let's begin with this video. All right, so the first question is proteins are made by linking option A carboxyl group, option B amino acids, option C glycerol group, option D amino group. So proteins are polymers of amino acids. If you combine all the amino acids, some kind of amino acids, you will get a protein. Moving on to the next question and that is proteins function as option A enzymes, option B hormones, option C antibodies and option D all of the above. So proteins function, uh, so there are made, there are a lot of functions of proteins in the human body. Proteins function as biocatalysts or enzymes in the body. They also function as hormones, converting chemical energy into mechanical energy. A lot of functions where enzymes are involved. And basically enzymes are what? Enzymes are proteins. Uh, proteins also function as antibodies. So the correct answer for this question is option D because protein function as enzymes, hormones and antibodies as well. So that is why all of the above. Option D is the correct answer. Moving on to the next one. Uh, all amino acids except dash have a chiral center. Now a little bit of uh, chirality or chiral center. So if a molecule, if in a molecule, let's say there is a carbon uh, atom in the center and so carbon has four, co four bonds or four uh, electrons in the outer shell, right? So it can form four bonds. So if CH3, let's say that a CH3 group is attached to a carbon atom, uh, on the other hand, there is a chlorine group, on the other hand, there is uh, a hydrogen group, and on the other hand, the fourth one is attached, the fourth bond is attached with a carboxylic group. So all the groups attached, all the entities attached with a single carbon group are different from one another. And that is why in this specific molecule, carbon is a chiral center. Carbon can be called as a chiral center. And that is why we can call that this molecule exhibits chirality. So this specific question is a theoretical question and glycine is the correct answer. So all amino acids, so all the amino acids have a chiral center except glycine. Glycine does not have a chiral center. Histidine is non-essential amino acid for DASH. So non-essential that means uh, our body can manufacture it. So is histidine non-essential for children? Is it non-essential for adults? Is it non-essential for infants or none of the above? So histidine is non-essential for adults. Adults can manufacture or synthesize histidine in their bodies. They don't need to consume histidine from their diets, right? But their children need it. So the next question is example of peptide hormones. Option A, oxytocin. Option B, vasopressin. Option C, none of the above. And option D is both A and B. Uh, now a little bit of background on peptides, right? So peptides are formed when alpha amino acid or uh, alpha amino group of one amino acid reacts with alpha carboxyl group of another amino acid. Then a peptide bond is formed, right? Or a peptide uh, linkage is formed. So in some cases, peptide linkages or peptides behave as hormones. So oxytocin and vasopressin, both of them are peptide hormones. Oxytocin is also known as love hormone, which is totally missing from my life. Moming on to the next question. Example of gel forming protein. Option A, gelatin. Option B, renin. Option C, casein. Option D, both A and C. So uh, there are some proteins. Proteins have a property to form a gel. Uh, so renin does not have that property, but gelatin and casein have that property. They exhibit gel forming. So both A and C, option D is the correct answer. Moving on to the next one. Whey protein constitutes uh, option A, 20% of total milk protein. Option B, 80% of total milk protein. Option C, 40%. And option D, 12%. The division uh, of protein in milk, pro in milk protein is uh, like 80% of the constitution of milk protein uh, is from casein, which is insoluble in water. Whereas 20% of the contribution in milk protein is from whey protein, which is soluble in water. So the correct answer is option A, 20% of total milk protein. Moving on to the next one, protein content of egg varies from, now there are some ranges given, option A 5 to 10 percent, option B 10 to 21 percent, option C 6 to 20 percent, uh, option D 13 to 14 percent. Uh, now 
there is obviously a range and there is always going to be a range there is not going to be an exact value like someone uh, some, someone cannot say that there is 12.4 percent uh, protein present in a wide variety of eggs obviously you can estimate the protein in a specific egg but the protein content is going to in these question question like these the protein content is going to depend on breed demographics what are what is the kind of feed and so on there are a lot of factors uh, but usually the usual range of protein in X is 13 to 14 percent. Option D is the correct answer. If this option said 12 to 14 percent, that would also have been correct. Moving on to the next one. Pulses are deficient in option A, methionine, option B, lysine, option C, phenylalanine, uh, and uh, option D is none of the above. So pulses are deficient in methionine. Methionine is the amino acid. Uh, and pulses are deficient in methionine. Moving on to the next one. Net protein utilization is given as option A biological value multiplied by digestibility, option B biological value divided by digestibility, option C digestibility divided by biological value and option D none of the above. So the correct answer is option A biological value multiplied by digestibility will give you net protein utilization. Now what is biological value and why, uh, what is digestibility? This is your homework. <laughs> Comment down below. Uh, you have to find out. Let me give you a hint where you can find out biological value and digestibility. You can find this out in non, uh, normal portal food science. The next question. How many amino acids are found in nature? Option A, 20. Option B, 22. Option C, 10. And option D, 12. Now, in my Instagram stories, I made a mistake. I mentioned 20 as the correct answer, but 20, on uh, but 20 is not the correct answer. Recently, two more amino acids have been found and there are total 22 amino acids which are found in nature now. So 22 is the correct answer. So this was it for today. Let me know down in the comments if you have any kind of doubts, any kind of queries. I'll make sure that I reply to most of you and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Hit the bell icon as well so that you don't miss these kind of videos when they come out. I will see you next time. Class dismissed.